So today we look at town and country and uh, the first uh, task is to match the sentences in this uh, left hand side with the most appropriate sentences in the right side of the column and we need to use these words and phrases which are in bold which are going to help us. So first is London is truly cosmopolitan city, cosmopolitan. If you see this N1, it is a melting pot for people from all parts of the world. That is why we call them or call these cities cosmopolitan. Second, like Mumbai in India, it's a cos cosmopolitan city. Two, a modern metropoly needs a good integrated transport system, metropoly. And uh, for this, if you go to M, unfortunately, this is something that most large capital cities lack. This is how we relate it. Metropolis poly means uh, large capital cities. Third, London suffers a lot from traffic congestion. Traffic congestion, London. Three, match it with G. It is especially bad during the rush hour when thousands of commuters try to enter or leave the city. Fourth, poverty in the inner city areas can be breed can breed crime poverty. Fourth, match it with A. Drug abuse is also a big problem. Then cities around the world have been a huge population explosion. Have seen now population explosion. Fifth, we match it with I. Nowadays there are more city dwellers. Than even before. Sixth, Birmingham has plenty of amenities. Sixth, we match it with B. Shops, libraries, hospitals, and entertainment complexes are just a few of them. So, amenities. Seven, a lot of people visit Paris for its cultural events. Seven, cultural events. Seventh, chief among these are concerts and exhibitions. 8. Cities in poor countries often lack basic infrastructure. Basic infrastructure. 8. We match it with F. Without them, they are unable to function properly as cities. 9. The pressure of modern city life can be difficult to deal with. 9. We match it with H. Stress-related illnesses are very common in cities like New York. 10th. 10th. The cost, the cost of living in some places can be very high. Then we match it with E. Prices in London are particularly exorbitant. The cost of living exorbitant. Eleven. A lot of uh, people appreciate the anonymity of living in a large city. Eleven. We make it with K. They like to feel that they can do something without everybody knowing about it. Twelve. I love the urban lifestyle I uh, lead. 12. 12. We match it with D. In particular, I enjoy the atmosphere that is unique to the city. 13. In Singapore, private cars are banned from the central business district CBD at peak periods. 13. 13. We match it with L. Most people use buses and the underground to get um, to the banks and offices where they work. Then uh, 14, 14th, urban sprawl is prevalent in most cities. We match it with urban sprawl, 14, we match it with J, J. Everywhere you go, there are building seat sites, pedestrian um, track scenes and blocks of flats and housing estates spreading into the countryside. Now the second one is, again we have to match the left hand column with the right hand column. Same stuff. Bold, the words and phrases in bold are going to help us. So, let's start. I enjoy a rural lifestyle. Rural. So we match it with H. Do you, I find, there's nothing to do in the countryside. Second. Uh, there isn't much pollution if you live outside a town. Second, we match it with B. 
I'm not so sure. All those pesticides and chemical fertilizers that farmers use nowadays can't be good for the environment. Third, there is a lot of productive land in this area. Third, we match it with, um, say, third will be the best with G, I guess. Well, I can't see much of evidence of cultivation productive land. Fourth, in recent years, there has been a lot of migration from the towns to the cities. Fourth, fourth, we match it with F. I am not surprised with such terrible prospects within towns. Depopulation is inevitable. Depopulation is inevitable. Fifth, in government, the government has uh, promised to leave the green belt alone. Fifth, we match it with A. Really? So why are we seeing so much construction in the countryside around the, around London? Sixth, there has been a huge reduction in the amount of arable land over the last 20 years. Arable land. Sixth, we match it with C. That, that's probably because we import more food from abroad. Nine, my uncle's farm covers almost 800 hectares. Seven, we match it with E. Really? How much is that in acres? Eight. What are the main crops grown in this area? Eight. We match it with D. D. Mostly weeds, oats and barley. Main crops. Now we have seen in task one and two various words and phrases we need to fill in. Let us start. For seven years I lived in Singapore, a metropoly uh, of almost three, 3 million people. Like London, Paris, New York, Singapore is a cosmopolitan city with people from different parts of the world living and working together. I enjoyed the urban, urban lifestyle I led there and made the most of the superb amenities ranging from from the excellent shops to some of the best restaurants in the world. In the evenings and at weekends, there were always cultural events with such diverse attractions as classical western music, an exhibition of Malay art or, or a Chinese opera in the street. It was difficult to get bored. Perhaps most impressive, however, was the remarkable transport infrastructure with excellent road and swift, efficient bus service and state-of-the-art underground system which could whisk commuters from suburb straight into the heart of the city, you know, important as the government banned private cars from entering the CBD or Central Business District uh, during the morning and afternoon. Ninth, we can have rush hour or peak hour. Rush hour or peak hour. In order to reduce, uh, tenth, we can have... In this we can have congestion on the road and and pollu pollution in order to reduce uh, pollution from the exhaust from the exhaust. Of course, living in a city like this has its disadvantages as well. For a start, the cost of living can be very high. Renting an apartment, for example, is very expensive. And as the city is expanding, there are a lot of say building sites, building sites where new apartments are continually being built to deal with the population explosion population explosion which is a direct result of the government encouraging people to have more children fortunately Sing Singapore doesn't suffer from the problem that are common in many cities such as um, say 15 drug abuse drug abuse which is partly the result of the government imposing very severe penalties on anyone bringing narcotics into the country. So it is safe to walk the streets at night. In fact, the, the inner city, inner city, housing estate, they are probably the safest and most orderly in the world. Singapore wouldn't be ideal for everyone. However, specifically or especially if you come from the countryside and are used to a rural lifestyle, the traditional villages that were once common have disappeared as the residents have realized there were no prospects for their future and moved into new 
government housing in the in the city nowadays there is very little uh, say productive land cultivation or arable land you can add here around the city which means the singapore imports almost all of its food and despite a green approach to city planning the urban sprawl urban sprawl which has eaten into the into the countryside uh, has had a detrimental effect on the environment so this was uh, about our uh, town and country words phrases and vocabulary thank you so much take care